Rajasthan Governor has sacked uh, MLA Rajendra Guda from the cabinet on the recommendation of Chief Minister Ashok Gelo. This comes after Guda criticized the Congress government over recent incidents of crimes against women in the state. He questioned his own government's work in tackling the crimes against women, even as his colleagues slammed the Manipur violence. The move is being criticized by the BJP. This is a, a peculiar state of affairs in Rajasthan, where now you have a, a minister in the government's act because he came out and questioned his own government. Uh, well, as of this point, let us not assume that the minister was sacked just because of these particular comments. But let us not forget that the Prime Minister has been quiet all this while, while the Manipur uh, incidents have been happening. The media is currently pointing out Rajasthan um, as an issue, um, you know, the whole minister thing. Um, his uh, sacking as of this point is not a concern for debate rather than... No, no, so why, 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 why has he been removed? If, if it's not for his statements, then what is the reason? You tell me. He, um, you know, his removal was in question for quite some time. I mean, just the fact that... Uh, so it's a it coincidence came... that suddenly he gets removed 24 hours after he makes his remarks on the floor of the assembly? So we all know in the future where this particular minister is headed. When are we going to hear, you know, from BJP leaders, from BJP spokespersons, to, you know, who are going to speak against um, women's safety in Madhya Pradesh, in Uttar Pradesh? I mean, I have the figures. Um, with me right now, I mean, if we just talk about the female lit literacy in Madhya Pradesh, 59.2%, which is far behind the 78.7% average mark. To that, Radhlakshmi Doshi, Uda Zariwala coming out and saying, don't link Uda's uh, sacking to his statements. It was coming for a while. He is headed the way of the BJP, she is saying. Also, she is questioning the women's safety track record in BJP rule states. Your response? Uh, there, I would like to address the second part of your question first, where she mentioned about Ms. Huda Zariwala. Uh, I'm assuming that, uh, I don't know if she's a, a political analyst or she's representing the Aam Admi Party. I'm not aware. But anyway, uh, she spoke Aam about... Aam Party even once. So she this is about, about women's safety. She spoke about uh, the women's uh, safety concerns or education concerns and she spoke about she has a very well-researched data as per her uh, from the NCRB. So she spoke about Madhya Pradesh, she spoke about Uttar Pradesh, but I'm so disappointed that she did not look at the top of the charts of the NCRB data where they speak about Rajasthan and what are the crimes happening in Rajasthan. I mean that she has completely missed out and that is so disappointing. And she is today speaking as a woman, she's speaking about women's issues and she is talking about how somebody who spoke about introspecting and looking at women's safety concerns in their own state. They were sacked within a day of making those comments. And Ms. Huda Zariwala doesn't feel anything at all. She doesn't feel anything wrong about it. If she is non-politically speaking I'm about Ms. Huda Zariwala, I did not... I'm not going to sit here and take those allegations against me. The honor is, I began my debate. And then you can respond. Please. Allow me to speak and then you can respond. Ms. Huda Zariwala, if she had spoken non-politically and she had included all the women's safety concerns, not just in Rajasthan, not just in Madhya Pradesh, not just about in Madhya Pradesh, Manipur. in Manipur. also and in Manipur also, then I would have understood that she speaks about women's safety concerns. But Ms. Where, Raja Raja Lakshmi, Lakshmi, where, where are Raja the debates? Where, where are the... Are the Ms. Huda Zariwala, I have allowed Manipur. I have very patiently listened to all the nonsense that you were talking. Please allow me to Manipur. speak. Manipur. Manipur. Then later you can respond. Can you, can you shed some light on what is happening in Manipur? Very firstly, she has not answered it even one of your questions. For the prime then she has the capacity to heckle me when I am speaking. Not one this tweet. is not a way of voice. Slightly mute down on this topic. Anything shut up. No dismiss from the people who did not address the evidence of the women in West Bengal who were ruthlessly raped, who were ruthlessly so, paraded. So, so are you saying Manipur is best? Are you saying, are you saying, saying we should let Manipur slip that. by? I am you asking her Manipur why is by. she totally silent about all the women's safety concerns in Rajasthan, in West Bengal? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm absolutely and not. Can she you focus please speak? Okay, so what happened in Manipur? Manipur? The police was the enabling these crimes. For God's sake, the police was enabling these crimes in Manipur. Can you shed some light? I'm afraid we've run out of time. We're going to have to leave it at that. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us.